twice that day, Donna. What does that mean? Leprechaun. There's been a lot of Leprechaun movies, um, all kind of in a very kind of particular style, very kind of comedy horror um, and very over the top. This time as our reboot, we're really trying to do something that's quite grounded, darker, something that's a bit more dramatically kind of intense. I'm kind of surprised at this one that we're taking as far a departure from the original series as we are. I'm glad that we are. I don't know if there's, you know, if there's really room for more. <laughs> The other Leprechaun was such a fan favorite. I think fans are going to come into this not really knowing what to expect. Everyone's going to relate to the old Leprechaun films. And as a reboot, they're going to think, OK, it's going to be like those. How are they going to make it different? Come on, Leprechaun. We're really showing where the origin of the mythology came from. So this isn't necessarily the Leprechaun that you would see on the cereal box. It's more what was the ancient creature thousands of years ago that in Ireland they started telling the story about that became the mythology that we know today. Our job in makeup effects is often to be the hands and eyes of the mind of the director. We gotta try to figure out through abstract terms what it is they see in their mind's eye. You know, we brought them into full body casting and all that stuff and, and built it to fit them specifically. And we, and we tested, you know, range of movement and all those sort of possibilities with Dylan. And we all started working together to kind of figure out what we could actually build and what would look good on Dylan and all that kind of stuff. To get Dylan in the suit, it takes us about two hours to get him, like, hero ready. And it's a bit of a process. It all goes on in pieces. The legs attach in a harness around the stomach and hip region. It straps over your shoulders or across your heart style. My legs bend and those feet and legs exactly bend how mine are, but they're so much longer. And you have the chest piece, which goes on like an extremely tight sweater strap underneath and that hooks on to itself. We just slide in the hands and he's got these braces on his forearms that he holds on to. They gave me marbled contact lenses that go over my contacts so I can see. Wow. Last part is the head. Let's do it, let's go crazy. Push it down. There we go. Our Leprechaun film follows a group of four kids who are on a trip in, in Ireland, and they kind of find this village that's a bit off the beaten track that has some ancient, mysterious things about it. There's a lot of things about our village that people don't know about. A lot of things that, uh, well, we like to keep private. I think a lot of us have thought about Oh, it'd be so awesome to go traveling and go around the world, and but what if something went wrong? And sometimes that can really kind of terrify you. The main character in our film is Sophie, and she's a girl who's, you know, kind of putting other people ahead of herself. She's kind of in a relationship she might not need to be in for as long as she has, and she always puts everyone else's priorities first. And she kind of needs to learn to kind of take charge and kind of become her own woman, which eventually she does with an ax covered in blood. We've got to keep going back to the cabin. What? Why? Because we're going to kill it. Sophie's boyfriend is Ben. And he's supportive, but he kind of always puts himself first. Sophie, hurry! <laughs> Why didn't you come back when I fell? Why didn't you come back for me? Jen is a character who really loves kind of the darker side of life. She loves horror films. She loves kind of creepy things. Um, but then as stuff starts to get really real and isn't just like the fictional books that she reads, uh, she starts to just freak out. <laughs> and things get pretty bloody and horrible for her as things go on. David is a great character because at the top of the movie, he just wants to have fun. He's just kind of keeping everyone going. He's a great peacemaker between the whole group. Uh, but then certain things start to happen to him and his trip becomes really not fun at all. Jesus. <laughs> Dylan was perfect for this role because he's done so much of his wrestling work non-verbally. He's done so much expressing with just his eyes and kind of communicating, and that's exactly what our leprechaun does as well. I think my feelings and my body language come out through the suit. It made it more of a challenge for me to have to portray words and feelings and emotions and, and actions with just my body. Ah! 
A lot of what this film explores is loyalty. The loyalty you have to your friends, to your loved ones, to your family. Are they going to save themselves? Are they going to be loyal to, you know, their friends? Or, you know, what, what are they going to do when their life's on the line? <laughs> loyalty of Sophie to Ben, loyalty of Jennifer and David together, and also Sophie's loyalty to herself that she's going to make it through. I would love for this film to be remembered in a way where people think of it as something that kept them guessing. I think this movie has a definite message of if there is an evil leprechaun living outside your town and he wants golden blood, give him that or you're probably going to die.